we move on to the last question of the writing part that is question number 20 which is to find the angle between two vectors now in my personal opinion i find this to be easiest among all the other writing questions because you should just know one simple formula any two vectors are given the formula of the angle is given as cos theta equals the dot product of these two divided by the product of the magnitude please do remember the above one is the dot product here we find the magnitude and we just multiply it now let's start solving this here we can consider this as x1 y1 sorry this is the first step x2 y2 now the magnitude we just write the comp this is the component form given right let's write it as it is 0 comma minus 5 dot product of 1 comma minus 4 divided by how do we write the magnitude magnitude is given as square root x square plus y square this is it you just have to substitute the given value now over here it will be x1 square y1 square so i'll write directly the magnitude it's 0 squared plus negative 5 the whole squared multiply this entire thing with square root of the next one 1 squared plus negative 4 the whole square this is it now how do we do the dot product is it will be x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2 that means the first term with the first term 0 times 1 over here multiplied plus negative 5 times minus 4 divided by over here the answer will be 0 is gone so it will be 5 square and root of that will be 5 itself multiply it with you will have 1 square plus 4 squared it will be root of 17 now here we can simplify this it will be 20 divided by 5 root 17 this is 1 time this is 4 time the answer is 4 by root 17 the, this entire thing is cos theta i was just carried away for a minute now this is cos theta this is not the final answer now we know cos theta equals 4 by root 17 what is theta then because we are finding the angle right angle theta now we it's all cos theta at the left side so just take the inverse of cos inverse of 4 by root 17 and then you will get the angle of theta you need to use a calculator for that so we'll take our calculators to get cos inverse in the calculator press shift and then cos and then 4 divided by square root 17 you should properly close the bracket and now we get 14.03 degrees it's about 14 point 14 degrees i guess yeah that's 14 degrees so that's that's how we solve it up it's simple if you know the formula here you need to remember cos theta is dot product of uv that's the component form dot product and magnitude of u multiplied with the magnitude of v that's it we substitute the formulas and solve it up please do try these problems by yourselves i will do this 19th one over here same like what we did but here we don't have the component form right how do we write the component form u component form will be equal to negative 2 comma 3 so what we write is the coefficient of i that is minus 2 and then the coefficient of j is 3 this is x and y what about v equals same component form we use this diamond brackets and minus 2 that's it now we solve it up we know the formula is cos theta equals u dot v divided by magnitude of u multiplied with magnitude of v and this will be a directly multiply no it's better you substitute first i mean you just have to write this but i'll do it directly in the exam you please do write and then multiply it it'll be minus 2 times minus 4 plus 3 times minus 2 divided by square root of minus 2 the whole square plus 3 squared multiplied with the square root of negative 4 the whole squared time plus minus 2 the whole square 
Now you can directly put this in the calculator if you want because you can take cos inverse of this, you will get the answer. But since it's writing, just do one step and then directly do it up. So here you will get minus and minus becomes plus 8 minus 6. So here it will be minus 6 divided by 4 plus 9 would be root of 13 multiplied with here it's 16 plus 4 is root of 20. And now you can, you know, this is cos theta. Take cos inverse of all this. You will get the answer cos, sorry, theta equals cos inverse of whatever this answer is. You can just write it as 2 by root 13 multiplied by 20 directly because both are having square root and close the brackets and that should give you the answer we will just do it in the calculator i've just substituted cos inverse 2 by square root 13 multiplied by 20 you can write it separately like this square root 13 multiplied by square root 20 it's going to be the same and it's 82.87 it's 82.9 degrees Okay, we have clearly mentioned nearest tenth, so please just take one decimal point. Yes, 82.9 degrees is the correct answer. All the worked out solution is available over here. Each step is mentioned. If it is not given in the component form, please get it in the component form and then solve it up. One of the easiest type of problems. All are pretty straightforward. And there we have reached the end of the writing part of the EOT. I hope you have found it helpful. Please do share my videos with your friends and your classmates. If you have benefited from these, please do hit the like button. Practice all the problems by working out yourselves. And if you have any doubts, post them in the comments and I will get back to you very soon. Take care, guys. I wish you all all the best and happy learning.